Action. <laughs> you're, you're, you're recording right now? I am recording right now. Oh, well, okay. Well, I mean, this is not usually how we start webcasts, but I guess we could start this what, one. What do you do? Like, walk around the compound. <laughs> That's Joe. Usually Joe does like the theme. Okay. Um, you know, and it's like a picture. It's uh, and like, here's like the walk around the compound text. And then Joe usually has like a different song um, that he does like a parody like a walk around the compound parody based on another song and it's sad but kind of funny but people sometimes they'll go into the comment section when like a new song gets revealed and they'll be like oh my gosh Derek what a great song you're so talented and then Joe is just like oh. I remember yeah poor I guy do. so I, I, no, hello no. all you big cat lovers out there it's uh, me Derek and Heidi uh, and uh, welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the walk around the compound webcast uh, don't worry about me. I just tripped. Yeah, it's all good. Nothing that a little bit of Band-Aid and a booger won't help. So, yeah. But Heidi's got the phone because she wants to, she's going to, well, not that she wants to. I asked her. I know. <laughs> she doesn't want to. She's just like, I don't want anything. I don't want to do your videos. That's icky. She does cute nays and stuff like that on Care's Patreon. So if you want to see, like, Heidi, the founder and executive director, and, you know, like, brains of the whole outfit, actually, you know, like, discuss things from like a, a place of uh, uh, expertise instead of my inane babbling, then go to Care's Patreon and you can hear Heidi talk. So I'm gonna pass it on to her. On to you, hon. Back to you. <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> zoomed in on Ezzy, not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the cutest guy. Are you gonna show the cats? I suppose <clears throat> this is a little tiger. Oh, he's doing what he's supposed to. So I had a birthday fundraiser October, end of uh, September and October last year. And um, the fundraiser was to raise uh, $3,000 for swimming pools for Slade Boomer and Ezra. So guess what? It finally happened. Um, this is Boomer's pool. His is not quite full yet. But he is very, very happy, and he is using it as should be. Slade we'll talk about in a minute because he doesn't do it, use it as should be. Look at that beautiful tiger, and it's big enough for him. You don't understand. Like all those other pools, not big enough. This, big enough. They are like nine foot long. I mean, nine nine feet look and he covers he cut with his sheets and stuff he covers the whole thing and his head's hanging over and they are uh four and a half foot wide or no 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 five foot wide five foot wide on the outside the interior dimensions are eight four foot by eight foot yeah four foot by eight foot so we just finally got them done and uh got them moved in here boomers is the last to fill uh, so he didn't have to wait we rigged up a little water hose to go to a pipe so he didn't have to be in his dog anymore. Anyway. So next to Renu is Mr. Tater Cakes. So I'll be posting a video later on of Slade being very funny with his hot lava feet because he never puts his feet in the water because it could be hot lava. Oh, that's a nice shot. I wish that fence wasn't there for cinematography purposes, but I'm glad it's there because <laughs> Slade would eat me. Look at this sweet baby. Is he not? This is such a cool shot. Honey, come over here. Jump over the fence. I got to show you something. No, really. It's really cool. Slade is in heaven. Look, the, look at the camera. No, look at the camera. I am looking at the camera. Look. Look, it looks like he's in heaven. Do you see the clouds? It's very nice. Well, why did you see? You can't even see his head. Like that. Why do you do that? Don't, <laughs> hey, it's my turn to have the camera. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Look at that. Isn't that neato bendito? It's pretty cool. It took me forever to get him to go in here, and he keeps on kind of dropping his nose underwater. But it really fits. Look, it's, it's really fitting Slade. Look at that sweet angel. Oh, Slade is on cloud nine. Because, ah, uh -huh. yeah, clouds, yeah, there's clouds, 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 there's in, clouds. The, in the cool thing. You crop that, I'm going to do one of these picture things like that. Capture, 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 capture. Hey, it's a picture thing. That's what I, that's what I say. 
You're on my webcast right now. So, hey, yeah, I don't capture, have, capture, capture. I don't have to be, like, do your capture, thing. Capture, 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 capture. Just shush. I'm, I'm saying it whenever she hits the button. So oh. everyone, just because you, people will get upset if the procedures are not followed and adhered to as far as I'd like web, to I'd as far like as webcast have, protocol is concerned. I'd like concerned. to have comments on that. Then yeah, I webcast protocol is very important to the community. Yeah, what else? Yes. I, so, have to, I am here to preserve webcast protocol. Okay, can do you know, it's really funny. You tell me to go and do this, but all you're doing is talking through the whole thing. I've, I've given you a platform for the first four and a half minutes. Yeah, well, what else? Mr. Choo Choo, very happy guy. He's been in this pool for over an hour. I don't think he's ever going to get out ever again. Hey, Choo Choo. Choo Choo. Oh. Can, can you hold this? <coughs> Mom, I love you. Where, where do you still? Oh, oh. He's, he smells daddy's blood. Yeah, he does. He says daddy got blood. I do. <coughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> Aww. Is that what you're wondering? You just ate. Yeah. And then this is the other thing. New rule. New rule with these pools. No horse legs, no cow legs, no horse heads or cow heads, no chunks, no nothing. That is correct, Slay. That's what I was telling you earlier. Put your head on the side. Look at him. He's That's adorable. How it was to be. What a good boy. Like a pillow, bud. He said I was getting too much attention. I need to be cute. Yeah, he's like, I got to ramp up the cuteness. But this, this applies to all three of you. No meat. No nothing like that. In the pools, new rule. I knew that you guys were taking like legs and heads and uh, chunks that's and right. shoulders. I'll poops and pee because Ezra already peed in his pool. Did he really? He peed like three times already. Jeez. Try not to poop and pee. Try not to poop and pee too much, and definitely no legs and just just try not to be gross, guys. Come on. <laughs> Melissa, we're we're filming a webcast actually right now. <laughs> Melissa's actually here. Melissa's right here in person. She just uh, got done helping me. Uh, yeah, she just got done helping me uh, uh, chop up a horsey. Just her as Two horsies, actually. Yeah. Such a big baby. What do I need to say? Oh. Well, I was just saying, like... As far as, but Derek turned off the camera because that's what he does to me as he turns I, it off. I, so when I'm talking and I'm saying something important, he's like, ding. So anyway, <laughs> what's really great about like, especially if you have Facebook or, you know, some of the platforms allow for you to do a fundraiser. This was my fundraiser for my birthday. So if you guys try it too, it, could be, it might work. A lot of people raise a lot of money. Yeah, they do. They really do. They really do. We, we get a lot of money from Facebook every year for the Facebook fundraisers that people do. Yeah, just on their and, birthdays. And I'm not saying you need to raise 3000 like I did for these pools, but, I mean, there's a lot of other pools that we can use, and, you know, we could do partials, and not all of them have to be this big. Yeah. And, you know, I'm raising $100 to go towards the next swimming pool for Munchie. Yeah. Or somebody. Yeah. Or whatever. It all adds up. It all That's adds up. That's what I'm saying. Up. Thanks, hon. He's doing it. Good job, bud. It's the hot time of day. It's the hot time of day. The hot time of day. It's the hot time of day. It's the hot time of day. Every time is the hot time of day. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe 103, 104 out right now which is kind of par for the course it's just that's just been what we've been getting and it's like that you know mid-afternoon said noon 245 it's 245 in the in the p.m. hey ZZ hey sugar pie so this is definitely prime like nap this is like definitely siesta time This is like, so I think that we're going to be seeing a lot of sleepy kitties. Also, it was feed day last night. 
feed day last night, I caught myself. I said, I said, Adam. <laughs> Thank you. You don't think I'm that dumb? I, I, I like that how she like quantifies it. We're like, you're not that dumb. <laughs> You're only kind of dumb. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa's rental car is a Dodge Challenge. Ba Jeepers, crim. Ba bubbles, bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, come on. Come on, let's go. Yes, 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 I'm gonna open the door for him. Like, I don't know if you're like, if this is a request or a demand. Bubbles, bubbles. If I opened this, it wouldn't happen. Okay, come on, bud. Get in, get in, get in. Mommy loves you. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. <laughs> we get it, Melissa. You're so cool. Melissa's like, she got to Texas. She's like, give me your finest uh, muscle car. <laughs> and they're like, okay. She put the person, you know, like in a headlock. Give me your, give your muscle cars. She's like, Texas has really changed you, Melissa. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hissy head. Hello, hissy head. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna warm in there. It's siesta time. It's siesta time. I almost stumbled at you, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> that would have been dumb. Whoa, 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 okay, whoa, 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 Ra, Ra, just come here, Ra, come here, Ra, Ra, okay, 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 it's getting to be a little bit too much, too much feelings, too much feelings, yeah, just sit down and just have a little bit of water and just kind of everything, everything kind of calms down a little bit. We don't have as many elevated feelings or elevated voices, and, and that's okay. The hot time of day, it's the hot time of day. It's the hot time of day, it's the hot time of... Oh, yeah, um, we did have, uh, did have two horsies that uh, got donated, that got dropped off earlier. Melissa did help butcher them. Uh, she was, she was, she was going through the motions and, uh, you know, learning all the, uh, the TTPs, the, uh, techniques, tactics, and procedures for butchering. They were already pre deadified when the rancher dropped them off. He had, uh, one of them, I think one of them colicked and I think the other one was just old. He ended up shooting them, loading up into a dump trailer, and then uh, brought them over here. But yeah, Melissa did uh, really good. Like like doing like initial butchering stuff, it it doesn't always translate, and it sometimes it takes people. Oh, look at that stinking rodent! We have so many mice and voles and moles and stuff like that running around. No, but Melissa did a really good job. There's sometimes it's like you can do the you know. You can try to teach people and mentor them and guide them through that process of butchering and it doesn't matter it's it just looks like someone glued a broken bottle to like a cricket bat <laughs> oh that's a red wasp that's a red wasp right there just floating around my wrists <laughs> but yeah it does like some people and it's like that's just that's to be expected because that's a it's a process that not everyone's gonna you know take to swimmingly and that's okay. But yeah, um, it can definitely, some wonky butcher jobs when people are getting getting the hang of it. But no, Melissa did a good job. Uh, Benandi helped also the last time when he was visiting. Benandi was helping, so Benandi Butcher. Um, you know, I gotta say, I think Melissa's, uh, I, I say Melissa's uh, knife skills, you know, a little better, a little better. But uh, Benandi had uh, very impressive ax skills. Um, yeah, his form at swinging, very good. Hi, Munch. Hi, Munch. Hot time of day, it's the hot time of day, it's the... 
see there's Kiara. Kiara's in there. Ooh. I have a... <laughs> I have, I have like a muscle cramp. Like just from like lifting the phone up. Um, and like my lower rhomboid. I started to like feel like the very beginning, the precursor of like a cramp. Just kind of like... You know like where you can feel your muscle kind of doing that tightening kind of thing before it just goes like... <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah doing a lot of work outside in the summer just when you're when you're just going through a lot of water and your electrolytes are getting all squirrely um yeah you can start getting you can start getting cramps and whatnot it's interesting like on the on when you're inside of like extreme conditions how uh, uh oh I was gonna I was gonna tilt the camera over there but then I, there was a there's a horse head so I'm not gonna do that <laughs> that's a, it's one of my policies um, not because like it, it, like I don't show there's a lot of times where I don't show things not because like I think that it's gonna be oh my gosh so offensive for the people watching and then they they can't handle it even though like that kind of there's there is an element of that some people just don't want to see that but no <laughs> My whole thing is like, if someone who like know like if someone who knew that horse, like happens to be watching a video, I don't want that person to be just like, oh god, it's trigger, no, <laughs> and like I'm like oh gosh, look away, look away. All right, so fire got up and moved, and she was like more to the more to the left of where the camera currently is. So she got up and moved like as I was walking over here to get a better shot. <sighs> Hi, baby. Hi, sugar pie. She's in that weird spot right now where it's like she's, she's, she obviously is one of the cats that they couldn't get cleaned because she just refused to give up her, her food, which it, it is a horse head. So, but she's also, pro she's probably in that weird spot where she's like, like pretty full. Like, pretty well full, pretty satisfied. But then there's, like, that still, that kind of instinctual pull where it's just, like, I feel like I need to protect that horse head. That's usually, I'm, I, I feel very strongly about this. But I'm also stuffed. So I'm a little bit kind of confused as to what my motivations are. It's like, I kind of want to say hi and be friendly, but at the same time, I want to tell you to go Cassie squeak your face. Um, so, yeah. That's where I'm at. Oh, as I was saying before, it's kind of interesting how when you're in extreme conditions, how like things that can oftentimes be, you know, in modern society, be a little bit more kind of bad for you, uh, become like very good for you. Like I could, I could probably eat like a little bit more like salt and sugar now and it would actually be good for my body. But it's like if I just did that, you know, if I, if, I, if I ate an elevated diet of salt and sugar without being in an extreme environment, I would get um, more muffin top. Where is he? There she is. There's Allie. Sleepy girl. Say yes to Allie. It's like, how, like I hear about people who, uh, mountaineers. Like people who climb, climb mountains and they're, they're, they're working at such extreme conditions and burning so many calories that they actually like carry, um, like tubs of lard and sticks of butter with them. And then they'll eat butter and lard just to keep their calories up. Okay. Melita actually has, it's a, it looks like a neck. I think I remember that neck. It's a cow neck and it's off to the right of where she's sitting right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave her be. Okay, slowly move away. Sometimes it's like you move away too, and I've, I've had to learn that lesson where it's like a cat could be kind of like, eh, just that's eh, close enough. But then if I, if I can like jerk away to move, if I move too quickly, that can initiate, that can trigger like, ah, like a come get you response. So that's why it's like a lot of times, like they could be like, hey, close enough. And then you gotta be like, okay. And then very kind of deliberately and very carefully, you know, stepping back and away. So as to not, you know, so as to not trigger that side of them. 
They can't help that side of them themselves. It's just who they are. They can't help it. Ah, Natal. Natal's making a, another batch. Another batch of soup. This is like, this is the secret ingredient. Like, that's a, he doesn't like that to get out there too much. Um, that uh, he is the secret ingredient. He's like, yeah, I like to, I'll get all the soup stock ready and I get all the spices and I get everything kind of shimmered and everything and it just gets all nice. And then I usually soak in it for a couple hours, get all my essences in there. And then that's what I sell to the public. And it's like, dear God, <laughs> how long has this been going on for? He's like, how long have I been popular? My numbers didn't start shooting up until I started doing this, okay? Don't you question my methods. I remember hearing about uh, people who are ultra marathoners, um, who like do these, they're ultra athletes who do like literal, like border, like almost like continental length runs, um, like multiple thousands of miles. Like someone, you know, the years ago I heard about someone like ran from like Central America down to like the tip of like Chile. Um, and, uh, which is super impressive, but like that person had like, was literally like having to drink bottles of cooking oil at varying intervals of, of their, of their, and it's not like, oh, they, they, they just started running, uh, you know, at Panama and just didn't stop. <laughs> no, I don't think it's like that. It's like, it took them like weeks maybe even months to do it. But, you know, again, you're still, you're burning calories at just a, a magnificent rate. So yeah, you're, you're drinking oil, you know, eating butter. And for them, it's like, that's, oh, that's like the healthy thing to do. <laughs> but for me, <laughs> when I do it, and I try to tell people I'm an athlete and they're, they roll their eyes, they don't believe me. Pin, 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 pin. Okay. Just because the schedule has been a little bit squirrely and we got, you know, there's there's different people in different places and whatnot. So I, I'm actually I'm literally just like filming this and then just like loading it up to the channel. Um so the normal the normal annotations not uh, happening as they usually do, but they will, they will, they will. We'll get back into it. We're just kind of in a, I'm also, I'm taking some extra time off. So my normal filming schedule got a little bit kind of hodgepodge, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Walker in the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website krescuetexas.com for more information you keep them tigers fed big shout out to the extra fancy patrons probably down in the video description below or maybe in the top comment i see you you are so fancy and thank you so much for your continued support and we'll see you next time all right bye bye